always Snow good to has, have. Snow has stopped, right? Uh, a couple of flurries still out there. The main thing is going to fall tonight temperatures. Let me show how cold it's going to get over the next few hours. 10 degrees at 7 p.m. 7 by 9 p.m. down to 5 by 11 p.m. We'll keep the first alert action day because the very cold conditions and the slippery streets expected. This is what the radar shows now. There's still some lingering light snow showers around. They will not accumulate too much, but might get just that little dusting to keep the streets a little bit slick. So you want to watch out. This is the view currently outside of our studios. As far as weather conditions today, not very warm. We hit 17 and 7 was the low temperature. 77 the record high, minus 22 the record low. That's a huge contrast. And 45 and 17 are the normals this time of year. Right now it's 15 downtown, 11 at the airport. Pressure rising, wind chill is at zero. Air quality, we have some poor visibility out there expected tonight and for tomorrow. Here are the temperatures around the nation. And look at the contrast from the teens back here in Colorado. The 70s down to the south of us and some 60s. There's weather front down here, warm air, some severe weather possible tonight down the lower Mississippi Valley. Here's our next storm that's going to arrive here late tomorrow in northwest Colorado and then move across the state during the day Thursday into Friday. Cold with lingering flurries early on tonight and then clearing skies expected. By morning, some high clouds begin to move in already in western Colorado. Otherwise, it's just very, very cold. 14 below at Aspen, 13 below at Gunnison, 5 below at Alamosa, 2 below for Denver, Greeley, Fort Collins by early tomorrow morning. Your front range numbers really cold up in the mountains. Minus 13 expected at Grand Lake. Walden 12 below zero, 10 below at Winter Park by morning. Single digits above and below zero on the plains. Some slick streets expected early tomorrow. Otherwise, it's clear and cold through the midday hour. Increasing clouds over western Colorado will have sunny but cold conditions over the rest of the state. Some high clouds late in the day with snow showers developing over the northwest part of the state as that next system begins to move in. Temperatures tomorrow a little better than today, but still stay below freezing in the metro area. Some mid 30s over southeast Colorado. Teens expected primarily up into the mountains. So another chilly day, but not quite as cold as we've had for today. Most of the readings get up into the upper 20s to low 30s. Tonight's forecast. Some flurries early and then just partly cloudy with slick streets and a cold low of two below zero for tomorrow. High temperature at 30, very cold in the morning. Some high clouds come in later in the day. Now let's step it ahead. This is what happens with the next storm system. We get some snow showers developing and increasing in the mountains by Thursday. We'll be high on the plains in the afternoon. We get some snow showers. Heavy mountain snow expected. We may see two to four inches of snow early Friday morning while heavy snow continues in the mountains and plenty of powder in the high country. This next storm cycle for the mountains could mean one to three feet of snow up there. 30 tomorrow then 15 tomorrow night. Snow showers develop Thursday afternoon with 42. Morning snow a couple of inches possible Friday. The weekend not quite as chilly back into the 40s and then early next week we're going to get back into some snow again with a high temperature around 30 degrees. Remember those 70s over the weekend? <sighs> yes, I'm still mm. dreaming about that, but <laughs> it's all right. It's a rude awakening. Thanks we'll take early it. February. Thank you.